EDTs in this context are new technologies that can ensure that NATO retains its strategic dominance. And NATO has a public list of uh, EDTs. It includes autonomy, artificial intelligence, quantum, space, energy storage, biotechnology, and, and many others. And many nations and organizations have produced their own set of EDTs for defense and security purposes. And there's a remarkable on convergence the yeah. on what uh, EDTs for defense what and should security, what should be on the list. Um, but also, I think it's really important that we reflect on how EDTs are different from the technologies of 20, 30 years ago. It's combinations of EDTs that actually make the difference. And in this context, the combination of artificial intelligence, big data and autonomy um, is all pervasive in defence. Next, we um, often talk about the pace of scientific change, and it's undoubtedly the case, but the breadth of science in defence is also important. Um, we need the traditional physical scientists um, that we've always used in uh, de defence science, but we need social scientists, we need psychologists and so on to deal with the range of um, activities that um, modern defence science needs.